Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy, Jesse Keegan. And your girlfriend, And we are Funny Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to say thank you for subscribing to our channel. You guys are super, super amazing. Once again, keep on subscribing because, you know, we are here to entertain you guys, make you learn one or two things. We are also learning from the videos that we are, uh, you know, trying to react to. And learning from the comments. Yeah. And of course, learning from your comment also. You guys are just super amazing. Keep on commenting. And if you feel like you have something that you want us to react to, just let us know. We're going to do it. We, we will try our level best to decipher it, decode it, try to, you know, you know all these things. Share yeah? our thoughts. Yeah, share our thoughts and opinions. Uh, feel free to interact with us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Check out his uh, reaction channel. His reaction channel. Yeah, reaction channel, um, person, whatever, channel. yeah. Called Jesse Keegan on uh, YouTube. That's it? Yeah, I mean, you can also check me out. I, I do a lot of stuff, man. I, I I take pictures. You can check me out on Instagram. I do more like street photography and stuff like that. You can check me out. Also, my lady, she does poetry. You can check her page also on Instagram. What's your name? Stephanie so L and my blog Morning Coffee with Funny and yes. just enjoy the content that we put out there. Yes, so without any further ado guys, today we're gonna react to Sanguru destroys Akil Naik Naik's marriage branding old age sexual compulsions. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. If a woman of 13 years old finds the virtuous man of 112 years, I would prefer this is hormone fired freedom, okay? <laughs> Medical science tells us even a man of 112 years can procreate, can give birth to a child, true? Your intelligence has been hijacked by hormones, <laughs> so you question the fundamentals of everything. I would not mind giving my daughter if I know that he's a virtuous man and will see to it that he takes my daughter to Jannah, I would not mind. But what is your qualification for you to go to heaven? Well, you have to die first. <laughs> If you want to go to heaven, first thing is you must die, isn't it? So you left your body here and you went to heaven without your body. Now what do you do with good food and virgins? <laughs> you have no body. How will you eat the good food and what are you going to do with the virgins? <laughs> In Islam, you can marry a woman the moment she gets matured. Such people you will see after some time what will happen to them. Life has its ways to bend you and break you and knead you and grind you in a million different ways. In most unexpected ways it will do it to you. So if you are a strict Brahmin, you have no option but to believe there's one God, he has got no images, he has got no ideas. You have become a slave of logic and completely missing the magic of life. And you also have to believe that Almighty God's last messenger, final avatar, Kalki avatar is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Anything that doesn't fit into your logic, you will reject. In this, you rejected the entire cosmos. Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse number 34. When you beat your wife, you should not beat on the face. When you beat your wife, there should be no mark left on her body. Please tell me all the ladies. <laughs> In Islam, wife bashing is prohibited. It is Daraba means beat her lightly. That means, first you tell her she's wrong. You admonish her. Don't share the bed with her. Ultimatum. Last warning. Beat her lightly. Bonk. Wife bashing is prohibited. Beat her lightly. Prohibited. Beat her lightly. Bonk. The culture tells you fixing your husband is not a good thing. You must fix yourself. <laughs> Do you believe that God has got no image? Yeah. Yes, you believe that. That's it. So you believe God has got no statue? Yeah. Good. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger? Uh, I've not answered, gone till that extent. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Prophet Muhammad. That Prophet Muhammad. Is. Is. The messenger. The messenger. And servant of Allah. And messenger and servant of Allah. Mashallah, sister. Thank you. Now you're a Muslim. <laughs> the choice is entirely <laughs> yours. You 
cannot prove robbing is bad. You cannot prove raping is bad. And we'll see to it that he takes my daughter to Jannah. The biggest mistake humanity made was, they started saying marriages are made in heaven, that's why it's such a mess. I mean, first of all, this is the funniest video I've ever reacted to. <clears throat> I mean, it's just so funny. But um, I think it was favoring of Sadhguru or something. It was favoring him because it actually says Sadhguru destroys like a knife. And those clips, I think they picked the clips and they didn't even let it go towards the end. I guess <laughs> it's not what he meant to say, you know, <laughs> but. Anyway, I mean, you know, when, when, when people want to destroy you, they'll pick the weakest points anyway, but... Not even the weakest, weakest points, it's like you're constructing a sentence, but yeah. someone just picks just one part of one it. One part, yeah. Not your entire explanation. So I, I feel it's... I mean, the entire thing is just null and void, but just for the sake of me giving my own opinion about the whole thing is that these are two great minds. I mean, these are people who are scholars, these are people who have studied, you know, nature, they have studied the Bible, they have studied probably the Quran, and they know what it all entails, you understand? And they figured out their own ways of living. This one decided, hey, you know what, Islam is for me, and this one decided that, hey, you know what, I will go with what nature tells me to do, more of an experience type of way. Because Sadhguru is more of an experience. If if I walk through this path and I have not seen it with my physical eyes, who am I to say that, you know, I saw it? You get my point. Him is more of like logical thinking, a free thinker and more scientifically inclined, you understand? Uh, I mean, Sadhguru, you know, is more of a religious type where, you know, I believe in the Quran and this is the way and the truth. Sadhguru? Sorry. I mean, Zakir Naik. He believes in the Quran and he believes that this is the way and this is the truth. Which is not a bad thing, but um, I, have, I don't have anything to say about this because the whole thing is just a sham. I mean, it's just like a, just an entertainment, you get it? But both of those two guys, sometimes they make good, good um, points, sometimes they don't, sometimes, you know, I don't know. Uh, if you follow these two guys, you can attest to what I'm trying to say. You know, you can follow what they say. Sometimes you're like, huh, you kind of think like, you know. But anyway, they are good people. I have no much to say about it. I mean, that, like he said, the good, the good, good information out there that they put out on their channels. But then for someone to come out with such a video, they've never debated in their lives. And they're just two separate people. I don't understand why you always, people feel they need to always... Um, what can I say? It's like you want these people to compete, like who is more educated or who has more knowledge or who has more this. They believe in two different lifestyles and I feel like people should respect that for them. No, none of them is talking about the other and I don't think we should be doing that either or saying bad things about the other. I, I just don't know. It's just, it's unnecessary. It's really, really unnecessary. If you believe in one, just follow them. You don't have to say anything bad about this one that you don't believe in. And life goes on. They probably don't even know that she and I exist. They don't even care what we have to say. They are of different worlds, not totally different worlds. So. But anyway, this video was trying to focus about the marriage branding aspect. Any thoughts concerning that? Marriage branding in terms of what? I don't know, because Dr. Zaki Naik said once a woman becomes of age, she can get married, do you understand? 
Um, they also spoke about yeah. other things, virgins in Africa. But but but, but but this you know these kind of topics are really sensitive sometimes, and they are vast to talk about. But what I'll say is that, I mean, when it comes to marriage, um, sometimes age really matters. Sometimes age really matters. Sometimes maturity matters. Sometimes wealth matters. Sometimes behavior all this demeanor and everything matters so yeah so anyway let us know what you think down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time this is i think you're done